This is Twit. Annette, Tustin, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Annette. Hi, Leo. Thanks for taking my call. Well, thanks for calling. What can I do for you? I recently purchased a Dell desktop PC running Windows 7, and I have it set up to do automatic updates. Good. So when I shut the computer off, it says installing nine updates. Yep. Shuts itself off. Yep. When I boot it back up, it says it failed configuring the Windows updates reverting changes. I hate it when that happens. And it's doing it for like two weeks now. Just Yeah, once it fails at an update, it will keep trying, and you'll keep getting that message until it succeeds, which means you may get that for the rest of your life. And there's two things to say about that. One, it's very important you apply that update when it's available. Every right. second Tuesday of the month, which means now almost two weeks ago, uh, Microsoft pushes out critical updates. These are the ones that get applied automatically. They're usually security patches. Really important. So let's not um, let's not let this continue. It's so common. Microsoft has a troubleshooting page for what to do when Windows Update fails to update. Okay. So if you just search for Microsoft and failed Windows Update. Um, make sure you go to the page that is at support.microsoft.com. Okay. And you'll find a whole thing, Windows Update Automated Troubleshooter. You'll have step-by-step -step for every version of Windows, a lot of different pages, troubleshoot common problems. This, and the reason is this is a hard thing to do. Cha doing Updating an operating system while it's running it's kind of like pulling, not only pulling the tablecloth out from under all the table settings, but then putting a new one in. Okay. It's, <laughs> it works most of the time, to Microsoft's credit, but when it fails, it's bad news because it's, it's stuck. It means also that the next second Tuesday of the month, you won't get any updates because it still hasn't applied last ones. Right. So I thought I could go to the update page and maybe install the updates one at a time. Would that help? You can. Generally, what's happened is it's stuck and that won't fix it. You need to undo... So if you go to this, and um, we'll put a link in the show notes okay. to the Windows Updates Issues page. There's okay. a fix it for me that goes into the registry and, t and says that this is not the update you're looking for. You never saw this update. This update doesn't exist. <laughs> and then it tries again. If it fails again, then you might want to do that. So M Microsoft offers manual versions of these updates, chiefly for businesses where... The IT department wants to install the updates on all the machines at once, so he, the IT guy puts it on a thumb drive and walks around. So you can do you can do that. It's a little tricky, you know. You have to talk. You have to go into the Windows Update page, and then you have to go to Network Updates, and it's kind of complicated. But you can do that, and okay. that might be a good way, good solution. It's probably something fixable, and this update page will probably do it for you. Because the other thing is, I I tried to create a system repair disk a while ago, yeah. and it won't do that either. So I'm a little worried. Uh. I have a, a Windows is, 7 install disk. The, good. That's all you need. 7. That's yeah, all I need. Yeah. I need a system repair yeah. disk. Yeah. The system repair disk is because Microsoft charges less for Windows to a, a, a like Dell or HP or Toshiba if they don't give you a disk. Because Microsoft's so paranoid, has always been paranoid about pi pi piracy. Okay. That they don't want people to have disks. But you know what? This Windows, this making this up, this disk often fails. Which means you're really uh, up a creek because you don't have a boot disk. So right. I'm glad if you have a Windows 7 install disk, that's the main thing you need. That's all okay. you need. Yeah. Because I, I contacted Dell and said I can't make a repair disk. And they said, well, boot off the install disk and then make a repair disk. And I thought, well, is that really worth the effort? Um, well, if you got some time when you have a few hours to kill, <laughs> you're okay. watching a, a Matlock, you know, a marathon or something, then maybe you want to do that. But okay. the main thing you have, which is the most important thing, which is the Windows 7 install disk. Everybody needs one of those.